Every day, uh, tens of millions of Americans go online to search for information. They want to shop, they want to pay their bills, or they're accessing uh, social networking. To state the obvious, the internet has fundamentally transformed every aspect of our lives. What is less obvious is the level of information that is collected about us each time <clears throat> we visit a website, or watch a video, or send an email, or make a purchase. Now, consumers have had no choice but to place an enormous amount of trust in the online world. Trust that their information is safe, that it will be secure, and it will be used appropriately, whatever that means. But the incentive to misuse consumers' information is very great. A consumer's personal information is the currency, in fact, of the web. The value of this data has created untold riches for those who have successfully harnessed it. This is not necessarily bad, as it enables an enormous amount of content to be accessed for free and allows companies to offer a number of services for free. But unfettered collection of consumers' online data poses, to me, uh, very significant risks. Right now, consumers have little or no choice in managing how their online information is collected and how it is used. Whatever limited choices they do have are often uh, too difficult to use and muddled by complicated, wordy privacy policies. It's, again, your classic health insurance comparison. Tiny writing. Protecting consumer privacy is critical for companies, and I understand that. People need to trust the websites that they are visiting, but online companies are conflicted. They need to protect consumers' information, but they also need to be able to monetize their users' data. I am afraid that in the hyper-competitive online marketplace, the need to monetize consumers' data and profits will win out probably almost every time over privacy concerns. The administration and the Federal Trade Commission have both recently issued reports on the need for industry to do more to protect consumer data and give consumers control over how their personal information <coughs> is used. They have worked to bring about industry consensus on voluntary actions. This is an interesting subject which we will discuss further at another hearing. The administration's and the industry's actions are to be uh, commended with this respect. But I've learned over many years that self-regulation is inherently one-sided in many industries, in many times, in many eras. It's inherently one-sided. And that consumers' rights always seem to lose out to the industry's needs. I believe consumers need strong legal protections. They need simple and easy to understand rules about how, what, and when their information can be collected and used. They need easy to understand privacy policies rather than pages of incomprehensible legalese. We should take up strong consumer-focused uh, privacy legislation this year. I do not believe that significant consensus exists yet on what that legislation should look like, but I will continue to work with my colleagues on legislation. As chairman of this committee, I will continue to work with the administration and the FTC, both represented here, to push the industry to develop and adhere to strong consumer privacy protections. I will continue to hold oversight hearings to make sure that the trust of Americans have placed in these companies is being respected. 